This is The Woody Show. Well, I kind of feel like Ravy scared us off of this. Because <laughs> every time we would do it, she would complain. Well, it's about... been a disaster in the past. I know, but like, you know what? Like, uh, I feel like sometimes it's like you have to have a town hall meeting. You got to open up the floor to the... Mm. Uh, to the constituents. Yes. You know, and hear them out. These mm-hmm. are the people. True. Uh-huh. You know, sure, so sure. like uh, open phones, that's uh, that's what we do. And sometimes we get a lot of uh, good stuff. Other times, maybe not so much. We might meet our new best friend. But that's we the, might. Uh, but that's the wild card. But since it's Alexander Graham Bell Day, it's a uh, holiday today. The guy, I guess, who patented the design of the telephone. Not necessarily invented the telephone yeah, itself. Okay. But uh, that is today's holiday. And so we're doing a round of open phones. Anything yes. that uh, you got, the floor is yours. Whatever it is, 877-44-WOODY. That's uh, 877-44-WOODY. Uh, let's see. Let's go to, uh, how about Sarah? Good morning, Sarah. Hey, hey Sarah. Sarah. Hello, guys. Good morning. Hey. Uh, what, what do you got for Sarah us? Sarah from Anaheim. Hi. So, first time caller. Um, I just have, I guess more of like, I don't know if this is more of a technical question, but my thing has always been like, how do you guys like, get these ads or sponsor sponsorships for like the ads that you guys play like on the podcast or stuff yeah. like who sits in on those meetings and stuff uh well we i mean we have no real say in that stuff unless it's something that uh that we are promoting or endorsing right. ourselves but yeah. uh when it comes to just like the regular like man people were pissed for a minute because there was like all these commercials on the station for scientology oh, right. right for example or remember when uh, ashley madison.com was running yeah. oh the commercial yeah. and they're like that. how dare you guys and blah, blah, blah. i'm like look i i don't get to decide how the station sells their airtime you yeah. know it just runs during our show yeah. Yeah. but when it comes to uh you know certain advertisers that you hear us talking about we do have our the, voice yeah the podcast thing oh boy that's uh, been a thing dude because uh they give me start <laughs> yeah, they that that's kind of just a, from a technical standpoint, but uh, right. I know it's kind of been annoying and a mess for a lot of people because like yeah. these ads just show up in the middle of a sentence or something. But oh, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, uh-huh. but anyway, but that, that's how it works. And otherwise, yeah. it's just uh, you know salespeople, just like you have in any other business, they go out and they uh, talk to clients, they sell us and everything else, and, yeah, station and everything else. So, yeah. uh, Sarah, thank you for the call. Right. I appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Cool. Bye, guys. Love bye. y'all. Bye. Bye. Love. Like, bye. bye. Uh, let's go to Arnold. Hey, good morning, Arnold. Arnold. Morning. How you doing, guys? We're doing, doing great. Good. What do you got? I just wanted to see if anybody knows anything that's going on with the Epstein files. I want to see them. I want to see them so bad. What, the like, Epstein it, files. Is that, a, <laughs> is that like a documentary? Or like are we talking yeah. about like uh, when they finally release all the investigation stuff? Yeah, when they finally release everything. I want to see the whole thing. That you sound like, way too excited yeah, about this. Yes, like Arnold, to it. I am. Yeah. Well, I mean, people I can see, like, all this, they tr- the Epstein files? all this true crime stuff, people are, like, mega interested Absolutely. in. Not to mention, everybody wants to. Did you see they did release something uh, last week? It was, like, the flight logs. Oh. Oh, and, they like, did? Okay. And everybody from, like, Tom Hanks. Mm. Wow. And, like, we, we had that game going for a while, like, what person who seems squeaky clean is going to get in like embroiled in some kind of controversy or right. whatever? Yeah. And uh, I was so I was surprised to see Tom Hanks on uh, flew on, on that the plane list. with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, flew on the uh, Jeffrey Epstein plane mm. or whatever. But I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Obviously, I think the interesting thing about the entire case is how people don't seem to care about it. I can't yeah. even follow it. It's so disgusting. Exactly, but yeah. that's why you think it, it would really be is. a it is. bigger deal. But you what, seem into it, Arnold. But I'm saying, like, yeah. what what crime is not disgusting? I mean, like, look at the but Idaho killer. But I mean, there's killer. like just different levels of crime, I guess. Yeah. Like when you're Ooh. grooming young girls like yeah. that, that's something I'm yeah. not going to be following. You know what I'm interested to see? I'm interested to see. Uh, it just got released. Jared from Subway catching a monster. Yeah, on, I'm not uh, going to be following that. On Discovery Plus. Add that one oh. to the list, Ravy. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> won't be watching that at all. No, but I'm really interested in the whole, like, how they ended up catching the guy. The whatever. Like, fall. Yeah, like right. anybody that has, like, uh, that kind of rocket ship ride, interesting. Mm-hmm. Like, Anything I, that involves kids, not watching. But that's the thing about this case, I think, is that Society has turned a blind eye to it. It's well, so I think weird. they're at a point where, like, what are they going to do about it? Yeah, he's dead. like, let's find out. Let's find out that somebody f- well, famous, the, like, had him killed or right. whatever. But what, about, but what about the participants? Yeah, in the whole yeah. Thing? I mean, yeah. do you think? Do you think that he really killed himself? No, I don't. Hell no. Uh, Why did they put him in a not. cell with that high yeah. profile of a right. guy? Uh, again, I watch movies. All of a sudden, like the guards aren't just like, right. around yeah. for such a that high profile guy. That's yeah. what happened with this. Okay. 
Yeah, Arnold, thanks for the uh, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Uh, let's go to Kimberly. Hey, good morning, Kimberly. What's up, Kim? Hey, good morning, Woody Show. Love you guys. Love you. It's like, you what's up, girl? <laughs> well, I'm moving in with my boyfriend for the first time, and we get along great, but he has a lot of clutter. Uh, I'm ooh. talking borderline hoarder. Oh. And, like, what you know, kind of stuff? Work through. Um, he has a lot of car stuff. He works on his car. He has a lot of um, exercise equipment and um, lots of little things, but some stuff, even the broken stuff, I asked him, like, hey, what about this? Can you get rid of this? And he says, no, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> it, it's still good. Okay. I, That's what they always say. Uh, Question number one, is he handy? So do you think he has the ability to fix this stuff? He does. Okay. He just doesn't have the time. Uh, number two, when uh, talking about the exercise equipment specifically, is he like uh, in shape or is he fat? Um, he's in shape. Yeah. He's in shape. All right. So does he use this stuff? Um. Yeah, he does use it. It's just you know, it's just too much stuff, it's and much, we're not going to take. Are you moving stuff. into his place, your place, or a new place? New place. New apartment. See, but, might, yeah. might, oh, might, so it's oh, an apartment, good. so he doesn't have a garage space for all this crap? No, unfortunately not. Oh, okay. See, this, yeah. That's bad. But this might be the opportunity yeah, for him to yeah. purge. Yeah, whenever there's like a moving situation, yeah. you go through everything and, right. you know, you got to make some uh, tough decisions on stuff. There was, uh-huh. dude, by the way, I just saw this story. There was this couple looking for an apartment in New Jersey. And they saw this, like, three-story house, way cheaper than anything else that they had seen. Mm-hmm. And so they booked a viewing. And uh, there had been a hoarder living there oh. who, I guess, before he fled his house, he just left the house covered floor to ceiling in porn and Bibles. Wow. I mean, there's other trash in there, too, but it was yeah. mostly porn and Bibles. Like, here's, like, a picture of, like, one of the things, like, just weird. some of the stuff. That's they so weird. What a freak. So weird. The couple said there was uh, so much stuff in the house, they could barely open any of the doors. Oh, God. And uh, even still, they rented the apartment. They've cleaned it up, but they kept a few things. Like, there was some uh, vintage X-rated magazines. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, Sell one, those. Here's one called Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scratch and Sniff Centerfold. Oh, oh God. Awesome. Yeah. So it could be worse. You could have stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, Kimberly? But you might want to have a heart-to-heart. I think so. And yeah. Especially if you're in an apartment. Right. Yeah. Let them know that the clutter will be an issue. Yeah. Definitely talk about it first. Yeah. All right, Kimberly. Thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening to Woody's show. Open phones. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oi. It's like, hey, uh, oi. Hey, first of all, <laughs> accused on Hulu is junk. I mean, this guy, what? Michael Chiklis, the, How dare you're him. telling me his, his solution was to throw his kid off the, off the leg. He should have. He considered it. And by the <laughs> way, don't spoil it for anybody. It's a great show. And he's in one episode. It's yeah, one, he's just one. <laughs> it's one episode. In fact, I liked, uh, episode, was it three, Greg? Better? With- with uh, two was the one about like the deaf woman and the baby, I, and then episode three was oh, three really was oh. good. Yeah, about the like the new stepmom. Oh yeah, yeah. See, that yeah, one was, that really was good. good. There's a show on Fox that uh, Jonathan's talking about. It's called Accused that Greg and I love, and it's you can good. watch it on uh, on Hulu unless you you Jonathan know just DVR. Who's it? There's a new one now with yeah. the drag queen. I don't know if you I've, saw that. I've one not yet. seen the new one yet because I'm I'm like uh, I'm balls deep in um, Your Honor. Oh okay, right now oh, okay. Se- season two. Season two. But Jonathan, I mean, don't, without trying not to spoil it, don't you wish Michael Chiklis had done what he planned to do? Well, I wish he did, but, you know, I think Michael Chiklis has to go back and look at himself in the mirror and see how he raised kids from when he was young and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I want to ask Woody, why don't you guys recap anything? I mean, I want to know who Sammy hooked up with at Ravy's party. <laughs> I still don't know what you guys did over vacation. I mean, menace on his two week trips, and you know, it's, I, mean, I want to know. We're I notorious for not recapping them. anything. We are. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, we we uh, we do it quickly. It's usually on the podcast. I'll ask everybody how was your weekend, you know. But it's it's you know, it's never over. What you got going on this weekend? We're pretty boring people for the most part, honestly. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, you may not think so, Menace, but, uh, know. you know, everybody's pretty boring for the most no, part. I'm doing something every day. Yeah. If there's something really notable, obviously, like, you know, Greg falling over in an elevator or whatever, like, we hear <laughs> about that stuff. Sure. Yeah. Of course. You want to hear about how, like, Ravy showed up, like, right on time and then, like, just to disappear. We never saw her the rest of the night. <laughs> uh, I barely saw mm-hmm. her. Yeah. And who did Sammy hook up with? How much time do we get? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if there's something, right. like, notable, otherwise, just assume it was pretty boring. 
All right. Hey, we love you. All Shout right. out to my wife, Lisa. All right, and to wife, Lisa. Lisa. All right, Bye. All right, Jonathan, thank you for the call. All right, Open Phones continues here in just a moment. We'll go back and uh, see what else you got on the phones at 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Here, before we go to break, just because it... Uh, we were just talking about it. We have a correction. Oh, all hey, right. Uh, hey, John. Hey, how you doing? John, hey, John. so what, what's the correction? Uh, correction. Tom Hanks is not on the list. He's on the fake conspiracy list. Oh, there was a uh, fake uh, list. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't up to date on the... There was a <laughs> fake list. Oh. Same day that that came out from the U.S. government. Because you can go on the U.S. government website and find this information. You can oh, actually good to see know. the list. I did not like that Tom Hanks but, was on there, so I'm glad <laughs> that, that was not real. You know, they put Tom Hanks and, like, Oprah on there? No. Fake that's news. not it. You yeah. can talk about Bill Gates, because that guy's a shitty person. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh hello, come on, John. John. Yeah, well, we can't say that. Bye. But. All right, John, thanks <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for the call. See, people just get like uh, real casual because we're friends. I know. Yeah. I know. We're friends. Damn. All right, more open phones next. Time.